Good evening, I'm Jack Cottle. Governor Christine Ohm tells state lawmakers that South Dakota should send National Guard soldiers and equipment to support Texas in its efforts to turn back a tide of illegal immigrants at America's southern border. The governor visited the border at the end of last week and says conditions there are getting worse. The governor said the Biden administration is to blame for what she says is a dramatic increase in illegal border crossings. The governor said while many people are coming to America are legitimately seeking a better life, she also said said there are several Latin American countries taking advantage of the situation. South Dakota is directly affected by this invasion. We are affected by cartel presence right here on our tribal reservations, by the spread of drugs and human trafficking throughout our communities, and by the drain on our resources at the local, the state, and the federal level. Noam said there is a legal argument that could be made that South Dakota would be well within its right to provide substantial assistance to Texas as the state works to control its border with Mexico. We're currently exploring various legal options on how we can support Texas and force federal government to do their job. I'm also consulting with my adjutant general, with the secretary of public safety and others, what our options are to provide personnel. An action Noam says the state can do right now is to send more razor wire to Texas for its operation, despite the fact that the U.S. Supreme Court recently ruled that the federal government can remove the wire and other barriers. Immediately after Noam spoke to the legislature, lawmakers passed a House concurrent resolution acknowledging the need to protect the country's borders and affirming South Dakota's support of the defense of the southern border.